Okay, um, just uh, I had a question on um, doing the course and then getting diverted with feeling the feelings or maybe the observer. Um, I mean, there is a way of holding them as being the same thing, but um, I would say if a student's making great progress with the course and doesn't wanna uh, absolutely just carry on with the course, is the course enough without, um, can the course, I was asked this question before, can one just do the course and that's enough without these other processes? Well, yes, it can be done uh, on its own. And if you I would say if you're a student of the course and you hear me talking about allowing feelings and the observer and those don't resonate or the calling is just to focus on the course only, the course, um, uh, just carry on with the course and and don't don't do the other um, other practices. Even though I sort of am sharing my experience on how uh, Dr. Hawkins, who was a course in miracles teacher, Dr. David R. Hawkins, um, he shared his experience, and I had so many 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 miracles that I do sort of talk about the course and his work of the letting go of repressed feelings and also of the observer as well, but uh, just sticking to the Course in Miracles, absolutely, uh, that's what you feel is right. And it is enough on its own. So yeah, you don't need to be distracted by others unless you feel drawn to, to doing, the, uh, doing some of the other stuff I'm talking about. Okay, I'll stop there for that question. <clears throat>